I think all free-to-play players should be saving for version 1.3 for the crazy value that the update's going to be bringing to you guys. Like, sure, we don't know what characters are going to be on the banners yet other than the three we do know of now, but the ones we do know of are really cracked and I think will really help a lot of free-to-play players' accounts out. I think this is probably going to be, regardless of how bad the rest of the banners are, I still think that the five stars that are offered here and the four star that's offered here can really help bring up a lot of free-to-play players accounts uh, in just about every aspect of the game because in this update guys we're getting an imaginary dps unit a new tank and also a new healer as well guys and these are three things in the game that a lot of accounts are lacking a dps and imaginary a, a tank because not everyone has japard and healers considering we only have one four star healer that being natasha right now uh, the other ones are all five stars so yeah that's gonna be really good but let's talk about the value of the characters first guys right now in the game we only have three tank characters uh one being march 7th one being fire mc and one also being the strongest which is depart which is a five star now it might seem like we have good free-to-play options in the game right now for tanks and yeah we do march 7th is great and also fire mc is great but the thing is i think we'll probably be getting a hunt mc soon and i think a lot more people will probably be using that to get some extra damage out with the hunt class i honestly just think that uh people are going to be using the hunt mc over the fire mc uh and march 7th let's be honest she's good and all but i think a fushuan would be a lot better for your account in general as far as like just clearing stages and everything like that like i said we don't know what she does yet but considering she is a five star tank and if we base it off the other five star tank we have uh, i think the odds of her being good are really good guys uh talking about the healer aspect now we have Luocha, bailu and natasha uh, first of all, those are two five stars. You have to, it's, you can't even get Luocha until his banner rolls back around. So we technically only have two five stars in the game now if you didn't pull Luocha. So guys, we have another four star character, another four star healer coming to the game. Uh, and this just allows a lot of free to play players to easily get this. Well, maybe easily depending on how your gotcha luck goes, but more so easily to get a four star healer uh, that can really help the account out, especially if you don't have Bailu and uh, you haven't won the 50 50 on Bailu. Your odds of getting this new four star links are a lot better than getting a Bailu, guys, let's be honest. Uh, but I also want to go ahead and talk about what the banners could potentially be. Like we for sure we know we're getting Fushuan, Danny Dan Hang, and also uh, Lynx as well. Uh, judging from where Yukong was at, Yukong was on the second banner. Uh, so I'm gonna assume that Lynx is also gonna be on the second banner. Also, we have never got Herta before in a gacha pool or a gacha pool before. So I'm going to assume that Herta is also going to be in at least one of these pools, first or second. I'm not sure on that. I did some weird uh, theory crafting calculations here that I can see for every single banner. If you look two banners ahead, the character that was on the banner two banners before, one of those characters were on the uh, the third banner banner. Basically, so I know what I said was kind of coping. You probably don't understand, and then that's a fine. Uh, I, I can't speak very well. Uh, for example, the first banner we got was Hook, Natasha, and Pela. The second banner we got was Su Shang, March 17th, Yoon. The third banner we got was Asta, Don Hong, and Serval. The fourth banner was Pela, QQ, and Yu Kong. The fourth banner was Su Shang, Arlon, and Natasha. And then the sixth banner was Serval, Sampo, and Luca, uh, which is coming out in 1.2, guys. So as you can see, there was a trend every third banner you do get a rerun of one of those four stars and judging by this pattern right here and judging by what characters we're getting that being an imaginary character and also a quantum character i can see either qq or yukong coming into one of these banners which i think if yukong came to one of these banners it would be really sick really insano mode uh, but like I said, we could also get QQ as well. We're probably also getting Herta as well. And on the second banner is probably going to be Arlon, guys. If I had to guess, on the second banner, it is probably going to be Arlon. Uh, and on the first banner, we'll probably get a QQ or a Yukong. So we can kind of guesstimate there what character we're getting. Maybe on the first banner, we also get Herta as well. So uh, yeah, that, that's that's my theory for that. So I think uh, I think that's what we'll see on the banner. Take that with a grain of salt, guys. We might see Hook on one of the banners because we haven't got Hook in um, 10 years, it feels like. So yeah, with my theory crafting out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about why you guys should be subscribing to my YouTube channel. Because if you don't, 
uh, Yu Kong here will be very sad and she says she won't show up on one of the new banners in 1.3 if you don't subscribe. She won't make her way over there. So if you guys want Yu Kong on 1.3, please subscribe. And also guys, another reason I should mention to subscribe is we're going to be doing a free giveaway for Kafka. Yeah, we're going to be doing a giveaway for Kafka. All you have to do for that is follow the channel and enter the Discord and but more details for that will come out next week guys on far as far as like the giveaway for Kafka that I'm doing. So yeah, just make sure you're subscribed for that. Anyways guys, let's go ahead and talk about the importance of typings that we're getting here guys. We're getting a quantum and imaginary character. Uh, the main focus here is the imaginary. We're getting an imaginary hunt character. Uh, this will carry a lot of free to play players through memory of chaos. We really don't have any DPS uh, Im imaginary characters right now unless you want to consider Yu Kong a DPS can build her to be pretty strong but I mean I think imaginary Donnie Don Hung is probably gonna hit a lot harder than she is uh, I guess there's welt as well but that's really all we have as far as imaginary goes I mean Locha but Locha really doesn't do that much damage anyways uh, yeah we're getting a, a DPS character for imaginary which we don't have any DPS for right now so I think this alone is a really strong reason to, to save and summon on this banner and then finally guys something I want to mention is uh, the four star we're getting links she's a healer and a four star and like I said she's gonna help out a lot of free to play characters especially if you pull for blade now right say for some reason you wanted to pull for blade I think that this could potentially help your blade out a lot because it alleviates the stress of having to run only one healer on memory of chaos now because the problem I see with blade right now is you have you're gonna have to run a healer with them I don't see a world where you don't have to run a healer with blade so you're gonna be using one healer for sure for memory of chaos for your blade this will open up a lot of options for memory of chaos there's also a chance for her to appear in the shop as well guys i just think this is going to be really strong and even if all the banners we get in 1.3 are kind of dog water kind of mid i do think that Lynx, Fushuan, and also Dandy Dan Hing are going to carry these banners. And I really do think they'll help out a lot of free-to-play players account. So guys, that's really going to do it for today's video. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, we will be having a video on Blade next uh, in two days from now. Talking about all the future potential that I can see him having. I think he's going to be really strong for the future. Maybe hard to run right now, but really strong for the future. So that video will be coming out in two days. And then also we'll be having an R-Line build come out when the version release comes out as well guys so i hope you guys are looking forward to those two videos like i said before make sure you're in the discord and subscribe to the channel to have a chance to enter that giveaway for kafka we will be opening up the giveaway for kafka in about a week from now guys i'll go ahead and open that up in the discord so everyone can join that wants a potential chance to get kafka so that's really going to do it for today's video guys thanks everyone for watching and enjoying me coping out but yeah 1.3 seems really good tell me what your thoughts are and yeah i'll see everyone in the next one later Bye-bye.